Well, hello, folks. Oh, 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 yesterday it rained. We didn't work. Uh, today I spent about two hours on the dozer pushing the road off, getting the road right. Did a truck wet there. All the way out, he screwed that up. Uh, the only truck we've got out so far. Everybody's going to be here about 4 o'clock, so we'll be here a little while tonight. Um, I got a some amazing, two, two amazing videos yesterday. Um, I'll probably put this one out today. Today is Thursday. Um, so I'll probably put this one out today, and then, I don't know, I might save those two for a special day, so y'all be watching out. They're really, really, really cool videos. Well, I ain't gonna say they ain't the best footage. What it's of is pretty cool. Um, first time I've ever seen it. Which, that's nobody to blame but me, I could have... Went there before, but, um, so, we're dealing with these tall trees today. And it, it's still got about eight foot in the dealing, on the other side of the D-limber. So I don't know how long that is. That's got a thirty. I got a thirty-two foot boom, and it's about thirty-four to the D-limber, thirty-three to the D-limber. Um, and I got about eight foot on the other side of that. I don't know. These trees are probably close to a hundred foot tall. Because the chipping saw we're getting off of them is about 60, and I'm getting a good piece of putt wood off the top. So, it's about time we get in some good wood, though. So. Good wood and ground's hard. It's just it's red clay, so it gets slick as goose crap on top. I don't know if anybody that's in the logging knows how that is. You spend an hour or two pushing it off, you can work all day. Yesterday it just rained all day pretty much, so we didn't even mess with it. It snowed a little bit. Me and Daddy went and got parts. Um, we went and looked at some um uh, we went and got parts and some paint and stuff we needed. I may have found me a, a loader. I think we might go look at it uh, Saturday. Saturday. Maybe tomorrow. I doubt tomorrow because we can work. The dude hadn't called me back and let me know if I could even go look at it. kind of a project loader. I mean, it ain't nothing new. It ain't nothing all that great, but it would take some of the pain off of this one. Um, but until we get trucks, I mean, this one right here really ain't got no pain on it. I talked to Cotton Top the other day. They're dealing with quota. And we're dealing with uh, trucks. Which on this job, if I had quota, I could probably get rid of it. I could probably stay pretty busy. I know he's dealing with pup wood quota, which as you can tell, I got plenty of that. Um, but you could, I could probably stay busy hauling some chipping saw for a little while. But I can't get no trucks, even though it rained yesterday. I mean, there's two or three crews working, and it's just, 
the truck situation's got got to give. And it'd be different if we could find some truck drivers that actually you could afford to put in a truck or had somebody that could stay at the shop and work on them and knew what they were doing. Um, it wouldn't be too bad. I mean, we'd buy some trucks, but we can't afford to have somebody out there. I can't run this loader and go fix a truck on the road at the same time, you know. Even if you buy a good truck, eventually it's going to need to be worked on. And the skidder, as you can tell, the skidder's smoking a little bit. It's got smoke coming out of blow-by pipes. That's not good. So we'll probably end up, if we go look at that loader, we might ride around and look, look at a few skidders while we're at the place. Either I'm pretty either way, um, I'm buy I'm gonna buy the loader. Um, unless if somebody gets to it first. And if I don't use it out here I'm gonna resell it eventually. I mean I'm not gonna be in no hurry to resell it or nothing, but it's really too good of a deal for me to pass up. should be. I mean, I gotta go look at it. If it's what the dude says it is, and it's a pretty good deal. Uh, I want anybody that doesn't know or hadn't heard or um, Cotton Top had a knife giveaway. I won the knife and I will be doing a video on that once I get the knife. Um, I've also got <clears throat> something I ordered. Uh, when was it? It was 1st of March coming and I'm going to do a video on that once I get it. Uh, um, I got a lot of cool video coming up but like I said yesterday I got some real good footage of some stuff I think y'all will find interesting. I'm trying to figure out how to get more people involved in seeing the stuff. Um, I don't know if I need to add more tags or what. Um, so, any of y'all that can help, I'd love for y'all to comment on this video and let me know. Uh-huh. Yeah, I just figured I'd shoot a quick video and tell y'all what I've been up to, how it's going here in central North Carolina. Um, MSL Mountain Goat. He uh, he put a video up yesterday, yesterday. I think it was. Or might have been Tuesday. And they were getting rain. So I hope it dries out for them. I feel like I'm in the mountains over here. Um, I'll put it to you this way. The guy that thin this stuff before thinned about half of it because it was sorry I had a phone call come through uh, I don't know where I was at oh I feel like I'm in the mountains that a dude that cut this thin this the first time he was from White Lake that's down east North Carolina that is flat ground um they put him on this and got him to cut this. And he thinned literally about half of it, if that. Because he couldn't, he didn't feel comfortable on the hill. So now we're in here dealing with 100 foot tall trees in the mountains. Uh, it's a little interesting. It ain't the mountains, but 
it might as well be small mountains so anyway i'll put this video up to the, today y'all be looking forward to the other ones comment like subscribe i'll catch y'all later